Hello everyone, I'm about to try Steph Papa's favorite ramen recipe. Here is the ramen I'll be using. It's the creamy carbonara ramen. I'm excited but terrified. So the first thing we're going to do is boil some water. I don't know why I chose this big of a pan. And the things you'll need are the carbonara ramen. You can use the regular carbonara ramen or the creamy carbonara ramen. Next thing you need is either milk, cream, or half and half. I have milk, so I'll be using that. The last thing we need, and I'm a little skeptical about adding, are the craft singles. But who knows? It might taste good. So once the water is starting to boil, as you can see, it's just boiling away. I'm going to add the noodles. So ramen transition in three, two, one. So once the noodles are cooked, then you're going to add everything else. You're going to add the milk, then cheese, which I am very skeptical about this, but if Steph says it's good, I'm going to try it. So fingers crossed that it's good. Next, I'm going to add the creamy carbonara powder. And then finally, the last ingredient is the spicy bulldog sauce. Now this stuff is pretty hot, so I'm only adding a tiny bit. But who knows, that still might be too hot for me. But anyway, this is what it looks like once everything's mixed in. And so far, it's looking good. And here's the final product. Now it's time for a taste test. Fingers crossed that this tastes good. Okay, so we got our ramen right here. I'm excited, but a little skeptical. But the way Steph made it sound, it does sound good. Different, because I never cooked ramen this way, but it sounds good. Sometimes different is a good thing. I'm honestly excited and a little terrified. Because <laughs> I don't do well with spicy. I really don't. It's like, okay. So, cheers. Also, I am eating my ramen with the fork. Do not judge. Here we go. I will say, like, adding the milk and the cheese does make it extra creamy. Ooh. <laughs> it's like one of those spices for me that kind of builds. It's not bad. I do like it. Am I, able gonna, am I gonna be able to finish this whole thing now? We'll find out. Steph did prove me wrong. I thought this was a really interesting way of cooking ramen, but honestly, it is good. I'm just not used to spicy things, so my spice tolerance is super low. But this is definitely different, but I like it. I feel myself starting to sweat. <laughs> and my nose starting to run, so. There's that. That just shows how low my spice tolerance is. But do I recommend this? Yeah, I do. If you guys are interested in trying this ramen recipe, I will tag Steph's TikTok account in the description below. Also, go subscribe to her on YouTube. I love watching her videos. They're amazing. Okay, so an update. Um, the noodles were good. Um, as you can see, I did eat them. And now I'm just sweaty. <laughs> My nose is running, and like, look at my cheeks. It looks like I have blush on my cheeks. This is not blush. This is just me reacting to spicy food, and oh my gosh. This just shows my spice tolerance is super low. I wasn't kidding. It's so low. But overall, these are really good. Just adjust the sauce packet to however you like it.